What's good, y'all? My name is Dylan Green, and this is Real Notes, a space dedicated to blurring the cultural and artistic lines between rap and film. I'm here to chop it up with everyone from rappers and producers to journalists and video directors about their relationship to movies and how, if at all, film inspires their craft. My guest this week is Detroit rapper, producer, photographer, and manager Nolan, formerly known as Nolan the Ninja. We spoke about Snowfall, Cocaine Bear, Batman and Robin, Belly, the magic of driving movie theaters, his transition from boom bap to more vibey music, how the pandemic stalled his momentum, developing sportcast by getting into photography and artist management, and the creative process behind his latest album, Don't Get Too Excited. Come fuck with us. What's cracking, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to Real Notes. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's 85 degrees outside, and it's kind of scary to think about that because it's April. But yeah. it feels great. Everyone's thighs are out. It's tight. We're out here. It's, 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 uh, it's, I can already tell it's going to be a beautiful summer. But um, my name's Dylan Green, Cinema Sci. Uh, got a lot of names, do a lot of shit. Um, settling down a little bit. You know, feels good to say that I'm finally getting some time to like sit and rest for a tiny bit before I gotta run through one more real big project that I'm sure y'all will be hearing about in about three ish weeks. Anyway, um, but we're not here to talk. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to we're here to we're here to talk about we're here to talk about um we're here to talk about a man who has a lot of other names and also does a lot of other shit. And has been like slowly but surely branching his way into other shit. Um, I um I came to know him as Nolan the Ninja. He's now just Nolan, uh, rapper, producer, fucking photographer. He's a manager. He's a goddamn. He's a goddamn neo soul flip expert. He's all sorts. N- Nolan's all sorts of things, bro. But he, but among all of that, he's Detroit's finest, and he's here. He's back. Um, and bro, thank you so much for being here. Like it really, really, really means the world. Man, you know, I had to come fuck with real notes. Like, what are you doing if you're not stopping by here? Like, what do you mean? Like, this is the outlet you need to be at. If you doing, if you're putting out a project, whatever, like you got to come sit down and have a chat like with Dylan. Like this is, this is automatic. This is what, this is what's automatic for all artists. So I'm, I'm just putting that out there. So I say that to say. Thank you for having me, bro. It's an man, honor. No, no, it's my pleasure, man. Like, you know, you, you you already know what it is for people who may not, may or may not know. Like, Nolan and I go back uh, quite a few years at this point. He was one of the first people I interviewed, like, for Watch Loud when I was, like, becoming a journalist, like, in, like, a real tangible sense. So, like, this has been my man for, like, six, seven, maybe even eight years at this point. And, Great. you know, yeah, for real. And, like, we... You know, like we've all we've all grown so much and we're both, you know, kind of it's just it's just really beautiful to get to talk to you like as you're about to transition into the into all all the all the all the new shit you got coming. But, you know, like in particular, don't get too excited, which has been out for a while, but it's still out. And y'all should go tap in because it'll really get you right for the summer. Like it's, it's, it's considering it's been so warm out, like this is the type of shit I'm trying to hear right now. So it's it's uh this shit is right on time you know um but cool. yo more than anything you know we're here to talk well you know we're here to talk about movies and rap and all sorts of fun dumb shit so um nolan let me ask you the first question i ask everybody who comes on here what was the last movie or tv show that you watched that you had a strong opinion about okay so tv show i saw snowfall yesterday the latest episode yeah that shit was nuts. I would <laughs> say I would probably say that shit was probably if one of the top episodes of this season, if not the top episode. Um, I love the ending. Like I, I just I don't know. Shit was just mad intense. And and for a minute, and I'm gonna keep it G. For a minute, I thought Snow uh, Snowfall was kind of like falling off. I was kind of getting like, you know, I'm inter- uninterested in the shit because it, it just didn't feel. I was like, all right, it's about to go off and shit, whatever. But I don't know. I feel like this recent shit really got me like back riled up and excited. You know what I mean? Like, um, but no, that shit was crazy, man. Like, I, I was, bro, that shit was just nuts, man. Like, and and you watch shit like that and you be like, damn, what would you do in that situation? Type shit, like. <laughs> 
And I feel like that's where that's where I've been on, like on some like, man, like that's intense. That's a hell of a situation. You getting tortured and all that shit. I don't want to spoil it if people ain't seen it, but but you know, I, I mean that's I mean that's one of the ones where I was like, damn, that shit I left with something after that. Cocaine bears another one. That shit was like <laughs> I don't know. I and, and, and we, we briefly spoke about that before. And like I don't know, it was like eh, like you know, it was like one of them like I feel like the trailer brought more hype to it than the actual movie did. Like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the trailer got everybody hyped and shit, but when you went to go see it, it was like, oh, okay, like, I don't know. That shit wasn't, like, it wasn't stellar. It was, like, it was cool, though. I mean, I fucked with it, you know, I went to go see it and shit, but, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I thought that shit just wasn't, like, the hype that the trailer showed. But I guess that's yeah. also, like, this, like that's marketing too. Like, I mean, you want to make people come and see the movie, you know, type shit. Yeah, not. Nah. Like, so I'm like, yeah, the trailer, the trailer did numbers. You feel me? But you know, it wasn't like I, I was going on my timeline and everybody was talking about it type shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. No. Nah, it was. It was. Yeah. No. Nah, um. No. Nah, we said it last time, which I just realized I didn't say that at the beginning. But this is another take two because Zoom hates me. <laughs> And doesn't want anyone zoom doesn't want people to hear some of these interviews for some reason and they keep deleting my shit so we're not on zoom now we're on google meet so fuck them but yeah. um you know <laughs> fucking <laughs> cocaine bear was a solid three-star movie you know like i had a yeah. really good time with it it's not a movie i thought about too much since i've seen it but like it being like in the moment you know it's it's exactly what it says on the box it's a movie about a bear that's on cocaine and there's like seven different people who are like all in the park when it happens and it's like a it, it's like, like like now that i'm thinking about it more it kind of reminded me of a movie like godzilla or like jaws in that way because like you know like you know, you know like godzilla and jaws are like less about like godzilla and jaws or like the cocaine bear in more than they're about like the people who kind of surround it because like you, you know like you're seeing everyone's stories and shit but you know it's like it's like nothing too deep or too serious it's just you know it's typical you know like there's like a mom with a daughter who's like they're trying to bond and there's like a cop who has a dog is trying to get his dog babysat and there's like a drug dealer played by ice cube's son um who's might him and him and um him and Isaiah Whitlock might have been my two favorite parts of the movie, and Carrie Hustle. Or, excuse me, Carrie Russell, because I'm a. Word. I just, I, I just, I just love Carrie Russell. I don't, I don't know what it is, but um, you know, like it, it, you know, and then you know, like the cocaine bear shows up and he fucks shit up, and or she rather fucks shit up, and um, <laughs> that best scene in the whole movie is when like the when like the bear goes back to her cave and you see like the two little cubs and the cubs yeah. get into the cocaine and they're just fucking falling out all over it's just really like it's exactly what it says on the box you know like i just like like yeah no nah, like i got i got what i wanted and i haven't thought about it since you brought it up just now type shit <laughs> like yeah. no nah, facts uh, big facts big facts you know what I'm saying, but they 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 had to hide. They had a they had a moment. You feel me? Like everybody was like, "Oh shit, what is this?" But you know that shit did die down and shit. But you know, yeah, uh, yeah, nah. But 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 nah. I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to skate over you talking about snowfall. Um, I'm not caught up yet, but oh, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know. Like, uh, I mean, obviously, we all know a ton of people who watch it. It's been a. It's been. It's been a. It's a show that's been in the cycle for a minute now, like maybe like you know, like at least like five, six, seven years. And mm -hmm. um, I know I know a lot of people didn't like the last season. Like that was that was it was it was pretty divisive. So you said that you said that you felt that this is uh you you said you felt the show pick back up. So like you know like yeah so yeah so like just just as a you know for anybody here who listens to, for anybody here who watches Snowfall like what do you feel is like the biggest change or at least the like I feel like the biggest change in like quality compared to um in in season five compared to season four. There you go. So I notice a lot of shit like like in regards to just like the cinematography. Like I'll see like like the color grade may be different one season or like they'll shoot like in different angles and shit. So I noticed that throughout, you know what I mean? I I'll be like, oh, okay, like they up the budget a little bit or whatever, you know. Um but I don't know, like, I feel like just the story, like, alone, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, you see, you see the, you see the beginning, you see the rise and you see the fall, you know what I'm saying? And it's, and I feel like it just plays that plot, like, really well. And I feel like 
since they knew they were about to, you know, this was the last season and like they got to come at it with, you know, the finale, the series finale, like, I don't know. They just got to come crazy. And I'm, and I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see what's going to happen. Like, and, and damn, I want to like talk, like, should I talk about it the way, like, as if everybody didn't seen it? Cause I know you haven't seen it, but it's like, hello. No, no, yeah, I'm here. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's. I thought it's, I was on mute. I thought I was on mute because I'm blow too. So I'm like, damn, like, am I on mute? <laughs> nah, bro, you're good. <laughs> Hell yeah, nah, but like, I don't know. I just, I just really, I just really fuck with the story. I mean, in general, like, granted, like, I'm no drug dealer or no shit, but just and just relating to like, you know, a kid like wanting to do well, but basically is like rejected and has to kind of like you know build his own like build his own legacy and like go for his own shit like you know just like that whole just i don't know just being like a young yeah. just being like a young young black man like just wanting to do good and like you know make sure you know himself and his family are taken care of and shit like all of that like and i'm big on that shit like family and you know what i'm saying just family oriented like structure and shit and like wanting everybody to be good and wanting conditions to be improved like i don't know that that's that's just what i want so like i fuck with it i fuck with it just from us you know like the uh you know from a series standpoint i mess with the cinematography i mess with the actual storyline like you know the actual uh like shit that's going on in the show like everything that's happening like you know, it keeps me keeps me on my feet. Like I'm I'm ready for the next shit. You know what I'm saying? Or at least recently, I guess. Or you know, for a little while it was it was whatever. But you know, I was still tuning in just off the strength because I mean, you know, it's for the blacks. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's for us type shit too. So it's like, you know, that that's definitely like a win. You know what I'm saying? And and me just being a John Singleton fan from Jump, even before Snowfall even released. You know what I'm saying? From way mm -hmm. back. You know what I mean? Like I'm just. I don't know. I'm just fucking with it. Like this is a show where I'm like, all right, yeah, this I, I like this show, or this is a show I can reference during you know the time in my life. Like, yeah, man, I came up on Snowfall, or I came up on Atlanta, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I feel like it goes in those like type pockets, like shit that like I'm going to talk about for years to come, and it's inspired me just on a creative level too. You know what I mean? So, yeah, nah, it feel it feels really timeless in that way. And you know, it, you know, like uh, you know, like like a lot of like a lot of Singleton's work does. You know, like I've been thinking a lot about Baby Boy recently because I've been talking. <laughs> I've I've been talking to people about it, and it's just like been you know, like it's been about twenty years since it came out, and like crazy. I feel like that's such a yeah for that's real, crazy. like and that's, that's crazy. 20? Yeah, it's it's yeah, like at least maybe even more at this point. No, no, because it came out in oh two, <laughs> so it's twenty one. It just, it just, it just turned, it just, it, it, it's, it, it could drink now. That's kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, nah, like John Singleton just has like, you know, like all his stories are just so intimate and so timeless and just like iconic or, or at least like, or at least like the really good ones are, you know, like boys in the hood and fucking yeah. baby boy and, you know, higher learnings, not my favorite thing he's ever done, but even that's kind of, you know, like timeless and iconic in its own way. But you know, like we can sit here and talk about Singleton all day, but like off yeah. top and, and this is random and this is random, but I did a paper in high school on higher learning. And like and 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 it was it was like a uh it wasn't we all had to do it. It wasn't for everyone and shit. But like I chose to like do that movie or use an example. We were it was something it was like some sort of like you know uh courses some shit like dealing with racism or some shit like that and like i had did that shit but but no nah, like i i fuck with how i learn it like it ain't something i'm revisiting all the time you know because i'm older and it's just i'm just looking at it different now but like no nah, that shit the soundtrack was slamming on that shit like i don't know yeah no nah, i i just i just wrote a thing on rafael sadiq's instant vintage and i realized that Ooh. his like his first his first solo single ever as a solo artist was fucking um uh the song he did for higher learning which mm -hmm. i didn't know until and until i was doing my research for that so that's kind of crazy but um nuts yeah nah like it's, it's it's just like it's just wild to see the amount of people that singleton's like wrangled into his had already wrangled into his universe before things really like took off took off you know yeah yeah no nah, he was he was definitely on the move for sure like just to be tapped in with ice cubes and all that shit like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like nah. doing this thing like going crazy
Early. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, for real. Um, so yeah, Nolan, for you, you know, speaking speaking and speaking of early, what's the first movie experience you can remember having? Um, it could be at the theater, it could be at your cousin house, like whichever, like the first thing that comes to mind for you. Um, I'm an, I'm gonna name a few because it's a few different moments. Like I remember Batman and Robin for sure. Like I remember going to see that and I just remember ads being everywhere for it. I believe like this is going to sound, this is going to sound like so greedy, but I remember like McDonald's, I think had like some shit, like some Batman and Robin shit going on. Like, and it was a huge campaign for it. So I just, I remember that. I remember seeing that, um, being at my cousins and coming across movies, like, like seeing baby boy for the first time or seeing like, like all type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? My, my mom's or grandma wasn't letting me watch type shit. You know what I mean? So like mm -hmm. fucking, um, yeah, we we said baby boy. What man? I, they, man, I done seen mad shit up the street. What was what was niggas watching? Like shit, like Belly. Like I remember when Belly first came out. Like my cousin, like he was on that shit. Like you know what I'm saying. Him and his lady went to go see that shit. I remember that shit. The Wood, the same thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the Wood. I think that was. I think I went to a drive-in to see the Wood. I don't know though, but I definitely saw that shit on the screen though. Like it was like, it was like a huge thing, like family type vibe, and and yeah. Or like, or maybe, or maybe like my cousin took me, like he had to take me or some shit. It was some shit. I mean, I was a kid. I was a baby at that point. So I don't, right. I don't remember and shit. But yeah, that's, that's a few, that's a few, like, that's a few times I remember, you know, a few experiences of like early film experiences, like Batman and like fucking, yeah, Baby Boy and all of those joints, like all the ill shit, like all the good shit, like. God. I mean, I mean, like a a all of those movies. I got I got memories with the uh, I got memories of Batman and Robin. I didn't see the wood until a little later in my life, but it was the, the woods a classic? Um, I'm I'm most I'm mostly stuck on the fact that like I didn't grow up with drive drive in theaters, so like I'm always real jealous of people who like have store because like I've been to a few like since, but like I didn't grow up with that. Like that didn't happen for me until I was like already damn near an adult. So like those, you know, you know, like drive-ins are something that I always relish because I never got to like really fuck with them like that as a kid. Um, but sure. like, what was the, you know, yeah, yeah. So like, were there, so, so like there were drive-throughs or excuse me, drive-ins in like yep. your area? Like, were they, were they, were they like popping or was it just like a specialty thing where like people like pop out and, you know, like it wasn't like huge, like what was it like for you? So like I mean I haven't like been to one in like years you feel me um like I and I actually like stayed not too far from one like a few years ago I was like staying because it's not in it's not in Detroit it's like in like Dearborn it's like the next city over I mean but mm. oh but everybody from the D like they would pull up or whatever but I don't know like because I was a kid so I didn't I couldn't really tell if it was like the spot or not you know what I'm saying like it's probably been changed you know over the years and shit but. But I mean, it's classic. It's, it's still there, you know what I'm saying? And they still run run movies and shit. You know, I know some sometimes like like even homies around the way, like they'll do special like viewings and shit like downtown where they'll have like some sort of like drive in type vibe. So, you know, it, it's still around. Like the art form ain't lost at all. Like it's definitely is is definitely tight. You know what I mean? It's tight, real tight, real old school shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. One of the last, yeah, not, like one of the last things, like one of the last things from back in the day, like 40, 50, 60 years ago, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, it, it's, it's like, there's one, there's, uh, or no, there used to be one in Newark, like they started it around the pandemic. I never got to go because I was always busy. Um, mm -hmm. But like, I've been doing, like, I don't know, it, there's, there's just something so classic about like the whole shit just like grabbing the speaker and putting it in your car and like yeah. grabbing like food and just being able to like sit and enjoy it in like your own space type shit like the last the last time i went to one was um uh me and my partner went to uh we went to one i think it might have been about two three years ago at this point uh they did one um up on long island um they did like a halloween one and we watched for, and we watched the first friday the 13th in a drive through and like you know like considering that movie's from like the 80s and shit like that felt like that feels like the best way to watch a movie like that you know yeah. like that yeah. like that shit just like that like you know like we, we like went to the dollar store and grabbed our candy and shit and just like 
post it up and it was great you know like i love i love those vibes and you know like it you know like it's not like it's exactly like a weatherproof type shit either so like there's there's like faults to it but it's just i don't know there's just nothing like watching a movie from this from the comfort of your own car like i don't know it just feels good to me no it's tight you know what i'm saying like that's a tight experience you know what i mean i think and i think it's really cool for the kids too like they sit on top of the whips and shit if you have like a truck mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like it, like i said like family vibes too like you know what i'm saying it, you, it could be a date it could be you know the fam just getting together it could be a dolo mission like it could be anything like it's a it's what you it's what you you know want to experience and you getting some great cinema it's tight popcorn hot dog whatever your vibe is you know what i mean the glizzy <laughs> come on now yeah come on um yeah no like on some flintstone shit just like sitting on top of the whip right. yeah no it, it's just it's, it's just i don't know i love it it's, it's just like such a classic thing to me um yeah. but like as you get older and you start to have a little more life experience and you just start to grow um can you remember can you remember like one of the first movies you saw that kind of really touched you and like stopped you in your tracks and kind of impacted you in a way that was like more than just like a, oh this is just a thing i'm gonna sit and watch for 90 minutes like something that really it, it doesn't it doesn't have to be in like an artful way but just in the sense of like this is a movie you know like a capital m movie you know i remember um <laughs> and this, this is gonna be this is gonna be funny but now like i just remember when killer season came out like i was on that heavy like <laughs> And like I didn't even start traveling. Like it's crazy because I didn't even start traveling to the East Coast. Like literally until I met you, maybe like 2015 vibes or. So it's like I was just so influenced by the East Coast for years, just like seeing shit on YouTube or like seeing some shit on TV or whatever. Just really fucking with the songs. Never been there or whatever, but just fucking with everything. You know, it's the mecca. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, like, and I just remember Killer Season, like the homie. The homie, like he had like a bootleg DVD of this shit, like back in the day, and so like you know, I just remember seeing that shit, like and and it was with the other DVDs, like Smack DVDs and shit. He had all that shit. It was like together, and it was like back in the day, you know, the burn CDs with the uh, you know, uh, the Sharpie on it, you know. Uh huh. Like, yeah. And it's like Smack DVD volume whatever, Killer Season, uh, Shotters, whatever the fuck. It was like all that shit. And I just remember playing that shit. Like he would play that shit, all the all the old movies and shit. Um, so long story short, I just remember like for Christmas one year, maybe like the Christmas after the year it came out or whatever, because I caught on a little bit later, whatever. But I remember I went, I went to like down south, like for Christmas with the fam and shit. And uh, <laughs> and I remember that I was like on my Christmas list and shit. Keep in mind at this point I'm like I'm like twelve, like thirteen, like I'm young as hell. So it's like I'm like yeah, I want killer season, whoop de whoop. So long story short, they didn't get it or whatever. You know what I mean? And um, uh, I just remember like we went to I, we we landed in Best Buy for some fucking reason, or we was like in a mall or some shit. So I, I I saw that shit at Best Buy and shit. You feel me? Hit a little lick on it. You feel me? And like, <laughs> like I just remember like feeling like so so happy that I had that shit because I like I thought that shit was like amazing. I wasn't concerned hmm. with the way it was shot and like the the script and all that shit. Like I didn't even care. I just thought that was some of the some of the sickest shit I've ever seen in my life at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, shit was just. Well, no, I totally get it. It's like, bro, like you just, it's like, it's like, man, like he's like, yeah, the girl gets spit on. I'm like, nigga, what? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm young as hell. I'm like, yo, and you see that shit. You got my man's from the wire. You got Omar from the wire making a cameo. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, bro, what is this shit, bro? But no, nah, like that shit was sick, bro. I was a huge dipset head during that time too. So mm. I, I don't know. That was a moment where I was like heavy like heavy on that shit like that shit had stopped me in my tracks like i thought like i wanted to be down with dip set and shit like all that shit bro just being young and just full of energy and shit but killer season um i remember seeing pursuit of happiness like i, I don't remember where i saw that shit but i thought that was a really good movie i, I probably mm -hmm. saw it in school 
You know what I'm saying? But that was a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Like that that might be the saddest movie I've ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like it, guess, it's it's like at least top five saddest movies I've ever seen. Yeah, sad as fuck. So it's like, <laughs> but I just thought it was like a great. I thought that shit was tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like that's a now that's a movie. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I was yeah. telling them, like that's a movie type shit. Um, I don't know. Uh, shit. What's another one, dog? I mean, it's just mad shit. The mask, like being in love with the mask, like the uh, mm-hmm. Jim Carrey mask. Like I fuck with the Rocky Dennis story too. Like that's that's a tight little film and shit. Like I fuck with it, but like the mask with Jim Carrey, like that shit is, like that's classic, bro. Yeah, it's incredible. I love that movie. That shit is amazing, bro. Like I was in love with that shit as a kid. I had the T-shirt, all that shit, bro. Like. Like that was that's a classic, bro. That's another one I remember seeing ads for, like the big ass poster and shit, or like just seeing like a big billboard with for that shit. Like I don't know, that was, that was the shit though. Smoking. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the way Jim Carrey would say his shit, and just like the like I like I can't remember any time before before seeing the mask, like seeing someone like perfectly translate like those like exaggerated cartoon physics to like something approximating real life type yeah. shit you know like when his like eyes bulge out and he does like the right. whole like wolf <laughs> the wolf hollering shit and like him pulling all the guns out the zoot suit like i don't know like that shit was like you know like obviously it's not like a movie for kids but it was a movie that like kids and adults really appreciated it, it, i don't know like it was like on top of that like that was cameron diaz's first big movie too and you know like that kind of set her career off and like you know we we like I, I you know like I feel like everybody everybody loved Cameron Diaz everybody still loves Cameron Diaz to be honest but like um yeah no nah, the mask is a classic and I didn't want to I once again I didn't want I didn't want to skate over a killer season because <laughs> you reminded you reminded me bro I haven't seen killer season and I can't remember the last time I watched it but the only thing I remember about killer season is seeing JR Ryder in it and like recognizing who he and, and, and like it like it was just like some I like like I just remember being like oh wow J.R. Ryder's in this and that's and it's like I couldn't tell you what the movie's about I just know that like Cam's in it we were all fucking with Dipset and then I see like J.R. Ryder in it and I'm just like oh because like you know like I was I was um I wasn't like obsessed with Rockefeller but like I knew them well enough to know who J.R. Ryder was so like it was it was like it was it was just the like that's one that's one that I really want to run back and like watch again as an adult because I never you know like it's been at least ten years since I've seen Killer Season but like I'm sure it, it, like I'm sure that shit on YouTube not for sure yeah. like that yeah. like because I know they just be uploading full movies now like you know times are just different like you mm-hmm. can type of shit off on the internet now so like full movies on on YouTube full movies on Twitter all type of shit full movies on Facebook <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the, you know the Twitter, the Twitter one in particular is crazy because if you pay for verification, you can upload videos up to sixty minutes long. So people are just like, "Fuck it, here's part one of Friday," and it's like, "Thanks, bro." Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I, I didn't plan on watching this today, but sure, why not? You know, Elon is wild boy. Honestly, yeah, no, nah, it's as as as, as, as putting it lately, I can't fucking stand him, son. But like, you know, like you know, like between between stuff like killer season and you know like uh like um like paid in full and shit like belly like you mentioned before you know like these are all like like all these movies are like they feel maybe timeless isn't the word because they're like i like i feel like paid in full in particular is such a movie like about like like it's a movie about the 80s in like an early 2000s context so i can't exactly call that like the story might be timeless, but the movie is trying so hard to be a, of the eighties type yeah. shit, you know, and like, and very much like a nostalgic looking back on it type thing with, you know, like the fucking DJ interludes and just like everything. I, I don't know. It's, it's paid in full, you know, like it's a classic, but it's not something that's like, like it, like I imagine if like a 13 year old were to watch paid in full right now, they'd probably be like this shit dated, but like, 
it's yeah. fun, you know, like yeah, it, or maybe fun's the wrong word, but but like it's it's just a good movie, you know. So I get I, I guess in that sense it is timeless. I guess it just depends on how you would define the word timeless. But yeah, like I think I think I think from what I remember of Killer Season, it definitely fits that mold. Even though I don't remember it being as good as Paid in Full, but you know it was still like it was Cam. You know we all wanted to see Cam. Yo, um, and and also like like even when I got older, like obviously I would get into like you know lesser known films like she and shit like Kids for the first time like. At, like mm. I don't know, 16, 17, like or or gummo, like since we're on the subject of like Harmony Kareem and shit, like you know, seeing those films and like like being wild, like being just like like just surprised at what the fuck is going on, but also like wow, like like he really put this out, like you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> like this yeah. shit is crazy. Um, so shit like that. Um, and obviously like uh, uh Stanley Kubrick shit or like you know clockwork orange or like the shining and shit you know so you know you'll you, you get used to that type of shit like later on and you see that shit and those are tight films too i'm into those films yeah nah I'll, I'll never forget the first time i saw kids like that's one of those that's just like seared into my brain forever and it was like a good 10 15 years after it came out and you're like that's like you know like that's a great example because like that movie is like such a you know, like that movie is so much about like the nineties, you know, like yeah. you could like, you know, like for better and for worse, like that's such a movie that like you could watch that and get a pretty good sense of what life was like in New York in the nineties. Right. You know, and like, I, and you're like, I'm watching this in the burbs in Jersey, like in, in, in like, Oh, it must've been some time between like Oh seven and 2010. I can't remember the exact year, but like, you know, like, you know, like stuff like that and like, yeah, and yeah, like Gummo, Gummo was a whole head bust for me too. I had a, I had a whole phase where I was like, not obsessed, but like really interested in the stuff that Larry Clark and Harmony Kareem were doing. And, yeah, you know, yeah, like, like they, yeah. they're, they're both, they're both, they're both sickos in a lot of ways, but they made, they made, they, 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 they made some good ass movies, bro. Like yeah. they, 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 they did that shit. I just saw my man, Paul Thompson wrote a 10 year retrospective on Spring Breakers. Which I've been meaning to rewatch for a minute because I saw that in theaters when it came out, and I remember really fucking with Spring Breakers. Um, but yeah, no, nah, like the, the crazy, crazy fucking times. <laughs> no, um, and yeah, no, nah, like with music, you know, like for you, like for um, when did you, you know, like you know, like all this is happening, like when did music? first come into your life and when was that a you know like when did it become like capital m music for you as opposed to just like a thing in the background man like didn't even didn't even begin to take shit serious until maybe 2015 till end of 2014 just actually being serious about it taking the necessary steps and like just going through you know the basic entry shit of like the industry or whatever um but before that it was always music for real it wasn't even like it wasn't like never like never not a thing you know what i mean like because yeah. i always because I, I feel like i was always just enamored with like a lot of the shit like i was just like just visually i was really like in love with the music videos and like as a kid or like to give one great example, and this is how I even got into more like, you know, older, oh, like old school. At this time, at the time I'm I'm seeing it, like it's considered old school, but it's even like triple OG now. But like '90s mm -hmm. stuff, like BT will have this like top twenty five countdown like every Saturday, and like it will be like artists like they'll host or whatever, and they'll get their top twenty five. So you know they have everybody up, anybody who was hot during early to mid 2000s they had on there everybody you know mm -hmm. main dupree bow wow destiny child whatever anybody you name jay-z whatever and so like they were like had a videos and like i remember seeing bonita apple bone for the first time and like oh wow that's that's a dog from prison song i didn't know he went you know what i'm saying he was making music back in the day yeah like, shit, like you know or like seeing older shit like 80s you know shit or krs1 whatever like just seeing older videos like that, like, and just being really like in love with the art, art direction and creative direction and just the whole vibe, 
like the total package of it like the music is good it look you know it feels good like it's tight like i was i don't know like it, it just spoke to me you know what i mean like it was just like i could do that shit all day you know yeah no nah, totally like that like like those you know i remember that you know like bt used to have this other this other music video shit called bt now i think it was called and i just used to watch videos on there all the time like i remember when fucking you know like you're like destiny's child's cater to you video and yeah. like fucking um goddamn uh gz akon's fucking soul survivor and Ludacris and Bobby Valentino's pimping all over the world. Like if, if if it would if it wasn't 106 in Park, it was fucking BET now for me. Yeah. So nah, I get that. Hell yeah, yeah. I, but I think I think I started like trying to rap for real, just around the way, like high school. Like just like fuck around after school, you know, battle niggas or like. Cause again, to go back to like Smack DVD and shit, like, you know, like that's the time everybody was on. Cause I was the shit. So yeah. like we like do battles and shit. I'm sure there's probably some random ass footage on YouTube that has like 10 views from like <laughs> 50 years ago or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, that was, that's what time it was. Like definitely like battling after school or at lunch or whatever, like, it, like that that was that was the era like i don't know like i would say like 15 16 like started just trying to fuck around for real um but i was I, like i said i was going to college and shit like i wasn't really trying to fuck with it but like when i mm -hmm. dropped out whatever that's when i like was like all right like what else you gonna do type shit and i just went for it you know what i mean like just was tapped in i was already fucking with it because i was already watching the videos i was already research and stuff about it i was already like rapping with the homies like so the shit was just already so natural to me by the right. time i became an adult it was just like let's let's get to it like this is what it is like like this is what right. you need to train yourself for every day for no reason <laughs> up until this point like you gonna like this shit gonna work like it's gonna happen you know what i mean like the the path ain't gonna be easy or whatever but just keep going like people right. that nah totally and you know on top of that you were jacking sports around that time too right you were playing football in like yeah. high school going into college yeah 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 you know, yeah like i was so no nah, so peep so no nah, so by the time i was out of high school i wasn't i ain't had played sports for like a few years and shit like because the high school i went to like they didn't even have like a sports team for real but like but before that it was definitely like basketball AAU, like you know what I mean? Going to camps and shit. Like, that was a big thing. Like, you know, like, I thought that was really going to be it and shit. But, you know, after a while, I was just like, man, I fuck with this, the creative work more. You know what I'm saying? Like, like as far as just music and, like, art and videos and shit, like, I, I fuck with that more than I fuck with, like, you know, that other shit. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm right. just as like it's just too like competitive for me and it, and not to say like creative work can't be competitive because it's like obviously but it's just like i'm i don't know i'm just more relaxed doing it you know what i'm saying like it's not it's not like it's not as much like pressure it's kind of just like liberating you know what i mean like it, it's just like i can just kind of do me and like put these ideas out you know what i'm saying regardless of feedback or commentators like in like although it's like obviously we have things like music reviews and shit but it's like it's like where it just comes from like the i know the place where it comes from you know what i'm saying so it's like when i put mm -hmm. it out when i put it out like it feels good to me that it's out and i view it usually i view it differently than everybody else does like it's totally like it's just like i like i'll look at it in a total different light and shit like i've had people come up to me like oh i fuck with so and so and so and so and so and so and I'm like, and I'm like, damn, like those are tight. Like I did those like years ago or whatever, hmm. you know. But it's like my newer shit. I'm like, I don't know. I just feel more connected to it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, it's like I, I've just became older and understood the business and understood like the actual process to go to it and doing it on like my terms this time. You know what I'm saying? And not having to like 
worry about X, Y, Z. It's just more like, what do you want to do? Okay, we're going to do it. You got the funding? All right, perfect. Cool. Let's get, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, yeah. I don't feel like a middleman for that. I can just do that direct now. Before I used to, like, when I was coming up, it was managers and all of that shit. But now it's more like, all right, like, I'm the team. Like, I'm the team. And I'm, you know, I'm forming my team. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's that right. type of shit. Like, I'm forming my team and shit. And, and I feel like I got a strong team. Like, sportcasters is amazing. Like, everybody I fuck with are amazing. <laughs> like, so, it's like I, so that alone is, like, a blessing, bro. Like, just to be around, like, you know, such talented people and just having their energy, like, pouring to you and you you pour into them and, like, everybody just makes fire shit and it's, and then it comes out and gets printed on vinyl and shit. Like, all of that is amazing, bro. Like, that's a blessing to just even be able to do that or go on the road, for, you know what I mean? Like, go on the road or go overseas or whatever. Like, that's that's a huge privilege. Ain't nobody doing that where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Like, like from where I came, like, nobody. So it's like, shit is different now. You know, it's just like the the way I view things is more like, yo, like that's a blessing. I got I got another idea of cool. It may not catch on like as soon as I put it out, but it'll catch on maybe when I die or maybe like 10 years from now <laughs> or maybe like 20. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it'll come. Everybody get their moment, bro. You know, it's just all about timing about that shit, you know, so it's like. Yeah, nah, it, it's and, and you know, like just like every and, like everything you said, you know, you got sportcast going on right now. You know, uh, like, you're yeah. about to, you, you know, you're about to um what's it called? You're about to go on tour with um Jamonte and Brain yeah. Orchestra and like y'all are about to go do a little East Coast run, which yeah, like yeah. that yeah, I mean like I'm I'm dumb hype for that, but like before you get to that point where you're kind of you know, like you're kind of re you're kind of like finding your footing and your grounding like as this like you, you know like as an independent artist in that sense you know yeah. like you start you know, you know like you started out you started out with stuff like um like fuck the hype and heart which are two projects that are still incredibly special to me because like this is around the time when i first met you and like those were you know, like those were like really formative for you but also you know like around like around like the mid 2010s when you put those out um i feel like the indie rap landscape was very different it was like super duper heavy on like a particular strain of revivalism you know like everybody wanted to make like straight yeah. boom bap music like period you know like not to say that there wasn't more like experimental and off kilter and left field shit going on but like there was um there was much more of an appetite for like traditional bread and butter like meat and potatoes rap shit, you know? And like, you really lean heavy into that. And I guess just like, I was curious, um, you know, like both of those projects are about 10 years old at this point. Um, um, how does it, yeah, what'd you yeah. say? Almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how does it, how does it, you know, like considering how different, considering how different your style has become over the course of the last like eight, nine years, how does it feel looking back on them, on them projects like almost 10 years later? And, you know, just like everything that happened with like left to center and, you know, like our good friend, Eric Soko, you know, <laughs> shout out to Soko. Soko is an alum of the show. Anyway. Um, yeah. Talk to me about those two projects and like that period of time for you and how it feels to look back on that. Man. So, like, I mean, just being real young, man, just like young, just wanting, just hungry, just full of energy, just wanting to do any and everything like to like get off off the mic and shit like just trying to make moves really um you know and like I, I can't tell you what which ones but you know some of those recordings like from those albums you mentioned like goes back to when i was like 18 19 years old as early as that you know what i'm saying so it's just like so it was just so long ago i just remember that time like just kind of like college was like man and like i was like really getting into more creative shit and just like just wanting to do just wanting to do more work i remember being at the homie crib right off on seven mile you feel me like everybody know where that's at is. you know everybody know about <laughs> seven girl you feel me so we over there and i tell them like yo i'm like i'm gonna do this like yo i'm gonna I'm fuck with fat beast and like get vinyl like this is me like at, i don't even know bro again 19 20 like i'm like yeah i'm gonna fuck with fat beast and like i'm gonna get get vinyl printed and we gonna go overseas and shit like you know what I'm saying? Like, I just remember that time. And it's like, now I've done that, like, more than a few times. And 
you know, just like seeing the world a bit and like just traveled and like the way things I'm doing now with the photography and I don't know, man, just, it's just growth, bro. Just growth. Like I'm glad people like fuck with them. Cause people still hit me up about joints off that shit to this day. Like it was, especially like overseas, it'll just be a random name. Like he'll be like working out or something. And like, he'll just like mention me with my song from like heart or something. And I'd be like, damn, that's what's up. You know what I mean? But you know, I feel like currently just like, like I said, like life has been good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like life ain't no beach. You feel me? But it's like, like, like it's, it's a blessing to be where I'm at. You feel me? So it's like the space that I'm in, like, it's totally different from that time where I was just hungry and like, just trying to like get shit done and just trying to, it was just so much energy. I just wanted to pour out. I feel like now I understand like what I dabble in and understand like how much like energy I'm, I want to like spread out amongst everything to, you know, so that everything gets that equal look or I, I give everything that equal investment. Like, you know, because I want everything to kind of like mesh and also be like this whole umbrella, which is like sport cash. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. I'm, I'm just viewing the entire creative field. I'm just viewing it just totally different. You know, even me to managing and like putting out a money in the shell, like who's amazing. Like she's like, man, like she's great. Like she's amazing. I can't wait. Like Apple Music played her shit recently. Like everything. Wow. Is it is. So it's like she's doing her thing and, and I just want to continue to see great things happen for her. And I'm going to do my best, you know, to assure that they will. You know what I mean? Because her album is going to be incredible. She's, you know, she's going to come on the road with me, too. She's going to help out, you know, help out the fellas and shit. So it's going to be tight, man. It's going to be real dope. Damn, man. Like It's it's just it's just really crazy. I mean, like, we talked about this quite a bit, but it's just wild to hear like all the shit that you have planned and the stuff that you're doing right now you know like you've really been building sportcast up into you've really been building sportcast from the ground up over the course of the last like four or five years like really since like really since you put out sporty um on mellow um yeah. maybe maybe even a little before that but like mm -hmm. you know it's it, it's just like you know like even just like it's just crazy to be at this point where i like i kind of have your whole roadmap in front of me and i can like pinpoint <laughs> where shit started to change you know like even you know like even something as simple as like re-listening to sporty and realizing that you started to like scale your delivery back a bit you know yeah. like there there would be people who were older than us at the time who would listen to your shit and be like oh like i like his shit but he'd be yelling too much and it's yeah. like you know, i didn't really care about that and i still don't care about that but <laughs> you know like, but, but but you know like it's just like i did start to notice that like from sporty you know like up to talk soon and ps and of course now don't get too excited like you know like your delivery is way more laid back and yeah. you know like you're, you know you're like it feels like you're trying less hard to impress people you know yeah. and <laughs> like that's and you're like that's tight you know because like that shows confidence like I, I don't know why i'm telling you this like you don't know it but like that just like shows you know, like a level of confidence and just like care to your craft that not that that wasn't there before, but it's just kind of manifesting in a different way. Um, and just because I was, oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. no, no, I was gonna say, but like, like even even with me like scaling back delivery, like I still like the aim is still to impress the listener or end viewer. You know what I'm saying? Like it's never to like short the quality. You know what I'm saying? Like just kind of want everything to like match you know what i'm saying like it's it's kind of like a way that i see it like in my head and i just wanted to like i just wanted to kind of like fully be like kind of like an era or like an experience because I, I mean i could i could definitely like come with multiple projects and i and i see how like niggas like going crazy you know what i'm saying like they'll just put out a few eps or something or or even like two packs and shit like i you know what i'm saying i'm seeing like the the waves you know and i'm just like damn like like, am I taking too long? <laughs> like, or am I just, but, but at the same time, it's like, it, I mean, shit takes time at the same time. It's like, I still at least try to like, all right, like yearly delivery of a project or like some Lucy's on top of that, like, you know, and just kind of have this like, just wave of like music instead of like, kind of just putting stuff out just on some like, huh, 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 huh. and it's like, people aren't, yeah. 
it's like people are just so off track and it's just like you know i don't know i don't know i just want everything to breathe i guess i just want everything to have its own space you know what i mean like i don't know i feel like like that's all i feel like it's just everything i just want everything to like breathe and like have its own space like but at the same time you know you don't want to just like only put that out you want to keep working so you do other shit or like even like producing for other people like i got mad shit in the vault with with, with niggas favorite rappers bro i like <laughs> like I could, <laughs> I could just leak all this shit and be like yeah we got the flyer shit on it but it's like it's all the time and you want to get you want to you want it to happen organically for real like right you, right i don't want to like press shit about it you feel me like but you know it's heat so you just sitting on the heat you know what i'm saying and it's like you just building up shit and then when you get ready or you feel like it's a it's a great time to start releasing shit or whatever then you can go crazy you know what i'm saying like you just been sitting on shit you go crazy and you still making shit as you're going crazy it's like you know well i you know i just like want everything to have its own space like but at the same time it's like like with deluxe and shit like i'm like damn should i put out a deluxe like but don't get too excited like is that is that the wave or like like, would that be the smart move? Or, like, I don't know. Like, you know, just asking myself all these questions. Like, you know, just regarding just in general the full don't get too excited campaign. You feel me? Like, it's just, like, it's, it's just different shit, I guess, to consider. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Because you want to extend that life of the project. You don't, like like I said, you want to give that, that space. But, it, you know, Deluxe is nothing but a refresh. It's like, yo, remember... All right, Ben, here's a few more, you know. It's just kind of, yeah. you know, it's just, I don't know. I, I think it's tight, though. I mean, Deluxe, I, I don't know. It's, it's giving a new meaning because, I mean, back in the day, like, if you got the Deluxe, that mean you got, like, a DVD and shit, right? Like, ain't that... Right. Poster, maybe, like... <laughs> wasn't that, like, the setup? Like, if it was, if you got the Deluxe edition, like, I remember the Good Kid, Mad City shit. Like, I remember that, the, uh, the Deluxe for that. That shit had the... uh the Mary J. Blige shit, and you had all the extra tracks and shit, and it was huge. I had, like, up to almost 30 tracks. I had the whole verse, I think. Like, yeah, it was, like, a huge thing, but, like, now it's, like, Deluxe is, like, all right, Deluxe is you put out a project, and you just tack on a few more tracks onto that project and re-release it. Right. So yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, all right, bet. Like, is that the move? Like, but I don't know. I don't know. But those are, like, questions I'm asking myself because, again, you know is it's more to consider just as far as forecast as a whole you know what i'm saying it's like wow like what what's the next moves you want to keep it traditional you want to you want to pay homage you want to do all these great things but you also want to evolve and you want to you know understand the times you know what i'm saying and like right you know, and, and even the times as stupid as they can be sometimes you you can still get inspiration from it so it's like you want to be tuned in at the same time you know because shit could you could get inspired like man you He's just scrolling Twitter. You'll hear like somebody just random, just make some heat. It's a video or a flip or something. And you're like, fuck, that's hard. Damn. Like, I want to rap now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. like, like the world is just so different in general. So it's like, I don't know, man, you know, but we're going to figure it out. You know, don't get right, to it yeah. right now and all that. <laughs> man. Yeah. You know, like inspiration can really come from anywhere. And, you know, I don't think I asked you this last time, or maybe I did, but I can't remember, like, where, you know, like, where did the idea, you know, like, obviously, at this time, you're kind of more so focused on being an artist, like, in your own sense, and figuring out your voice and, like, where you want to go, like, particularly after, like, Yen and Sporty. But, like, when did, when did Sportcast become a thing that was, like, oh, this is, like, you know, like sportcast is my thing that I'm gonna like start now and expand and like make that my little or not little, but like make it my platform type shit. Like when did you know like you know, like when did sportcast first come to life and become a thing that you you were like focused on bringing to life type shit? I definitely was coming up with like early shit for sportcast, um, like as early as 2018, like maybe summertime or like till into 2018. But I just remember, like, uh, after, you know, I, I, I did that situation with Melo and, like, you know, I had a cool little advance and, like, you know, I didn't have no job and shit. Like, I was just, like, on the move. I'm like, yo, it's up. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, <laughs> I was just going crazy, like, just flying to L.A. and shit and, like, you know, just, you know, and I still be taking my trips and shit. Like I, like I told you, I'm about to pull up to New York again in a few days. It ain't shit, you feel me? But, like, mm. I just remember that time where I was just like, hmm, it's about to snow in Detroit. I'm about to go to L.A be gone by one way and like don't come back for like two months like type shit while, while still having like while still like having a spot like as you know what i'm saying in detroit like paying rent and shit like just wild and like just just feeling like a king or some shit you know it wasn't it wasn't shit like in hindsight but you know how i was feeling and shit how shit was moving i'm just like yo i just i just want to do other shit like the music is straight i got this tight album which was sporty at the time i'm like yo Fuck it, I want to travel. I want to. I want to do more with the film photography, which I was already a fan of anyway. You know, just from like back in the day with the Polaroids or the disposables, like just already fucking with that, and just like wanting to expand on that, just understanding that world, and you know, just doing more studying about it. You know what I mean? Just like where it could go, and like actually reading books and shit. Like I don't know. It's just like a different level. Like I just started thinking different. Like okay, like what else do you want to do? And I just wanted to enhance what I was already doing, like on the low. You know what I mean? Like because I would always yeah. like little pictures on my phone and shit. Like and turn it and try to like use filters. And this is early, like twenty twelve. When when did Instagram come out? Twenty twelve. Oh man, twenty eleven, twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. Like I just remember back in the day. Like I would always try to like make the picture look. A certain way or look like it was taken on a polaroid like early before there was any filters and stories and shit and i just remember i was always trying to do that or like filming on vhs on a little uh everybody use the shit now um niggas have shot full videos on this shit um, right 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 like i just seen quite a few videos it, like it's the vhs cam like but the shit look official though and um like i just remember like i bought that and like i was filming mad shit. like i got mad videos from like that time like like back in the day where i was in ny you know what i'm saying like first being introduced to people and like linking up with people and and just trying to go crazy you know and i'm probably gonna post some shit soon because like those are gold like it's moments motherfuckers wouldn't even expect honestly but um just in general like your favorite rapper could be in it you, you, you know what i'm saying the yo yo your favorite crush may be in it like i don't know i don't know what the fuck gonna, gonna be in it so it's just so much shit that was going on during that time but <laughs> um but yeah man dog, like just wanting to like yo build something you know what i mean just like like rapping is cool man you know what i'm saying it's straight it's fun you know what i'm saying but i've always wanted to do more even with like fuck the hype and yin like back in the day like in real time, like when I made that shit, I was I was in that space. I was like hungry. I was a whoop de whoop. It's like by the time that shit came out, I was like uh, I was low key in real time scale back a bit, but still like doing the shit because like you know because it was out at the time. It's like yo, all right, cool. And then like do it again, like you know, to like appease listeners or whatever. And then like when Sporty came out, I feel like Sporty gave a great balance. Like like it was, right. it was still that hunger, but it was still like. The delivery and shit like everything you could tell like i didn't i got sharpened up a bit you know what i mean like i've been in the gym a little bit you know and, it, and it's tight even with the cover like i'm on the court like you know what i mean like i'm on the court with the with the pistons uh the pullover and shit like yeah yeah like, yep. with the 90 with the 90 uh the, um the moabs and shit man like bro come on man the air the 95s bro like <laughs> them shits, bro. You niggas ain't gonna find those, bro. I got that shit on the vinyl, but that's the shit I'm talking about, though. I was in my bag during that time. Even a little before that, I was in my bag for real, but I was really in my bag that time. Like, I'm like, yo, I, I don't know. I just felt invincible. I didn't even care about what the how it was re, uh, received because I was like, yo, I like, I know this shit is gonna do something. At the time, I was uh like, I was uh, finalizing the treatment for Oranges, the video, and yeah. I just remember that whole time, like, like I'm like yo, I'm I'm gonna do it. Like like I like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this shit. Like I can make it happen. I can make anything happen. Like feeling invincible, bro. Like feeling accomplished and like just going, just wanting to do more. You know what I mean? Just I'm I'm hungrier. You know what I'm saying? But I want to do more. But I just want to do more the smart way. I just want to work smarter, not harder this time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all. And that and that was just like the space. Like and put that with like the space of me just like 
okay, I did this, I did that. You know, you you experience shit a couple times or a few times, you be over it. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't even about like it ain't even about like, you know, like necessarily like being the best rapper or whatever. Like it's like, you know, I like I didn't accomplish a lot of my dreams low key. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Like, like I didn't kind of surpass it for real. Like it like I didn't I'm doing shit I ain't even expect to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not even about like it's like, yo, I, I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit done happened in the past couple months since don't get too excited release that I didn't like ask for. It. You know what I'm saying? Like it but it but it happened and I'm so grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? Like and I just want to continue working and just like continue to build that foundation. But this time, you know, like I need people to trust me this time, you know, like really trust me, like where I'm trying to go and like where I'm trying to take it. You know, one one artist I've been playing a lot, like in the past, I don't know, a week or two. I've been fucking with the new Tyler shit, like the the uh he did like a deluxe, right? Yeah, the estate like, sale, yeah, yeah, it's just tight. And like and I just remember like Amani and I, I remember we saw like Wolf Talk for the first time. And I was just like, and we were just like, yo, like what? Like this, like it was just, I don't know, like shit just was like so next level to see him come from like bastard and yonkers and shit to like where he's taken. It. And it's like, I guess like, I guess like I, I relate to that on the point of like just being young and like full of like, you know, just wanting to do wild shit or whatever, or just like come wild or like have wild approaches. And then you become older and you understand what your tastes really are. And then you really tap into those tastes and then yeah. you build from that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Like I said, like creatively, I feel like I'm, at, I'm in a great space and I feel like I've just continued to evolve. And, and like even the new sounds like I'm fucking with and like experimenting with if like producers I'm working with, like it's really tight, man. It's really tight. And it's like, you know, I've never, I've never had, int I've never had interest. Excuse me, I've never had interest in like playing int instruments for real, like, like growing up. Like that was never like a thing. But it's like now, like, now that I'm older and I've heard all these great jazz records and like, I've heard all these great, you know, alternative records or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you and just being so inspired and just wanting to like understand more about the music that makes you feel good. You know, and um, yeah. And just like again, building off that, like yo, it's something about that that makes me feel that way. You know what I mean? Like I, I want to tap more into that. Like I want to just go into that, indulge in that. Like you know, and I just want to do that for those spaces in those times and those eras. And like I don't know what's next. Like I don't have in my mind like oh I got my next ten albums lined up. Like bro, like it's right. like bro, I could I could like in two years I could put out a record like and be like i don't know like and all of like just wear all black and not even show my face or something like i don't know what the fuck i could be on you know what i'm saying like i don't know what i could be i'm not saying i'm doing that but i, I ain't no telling what i'm gonna be on you feel me like i just kind of want i just kind of want to grow organically and shit like i just want shit to like come off like yo i, I think this is really cool like i don't want to just do shit to just like i want to do something that really sticks with me and like something i could really like really like talk about and like really understand the time and like of when I put it out, you know what I mean? Or like, or even from an artistic point, like, okay, like, yeah, this is whoop de whoop or like, you know, like even with don't, and even with don't get too excited, like don't get too excited. It's probably the most vulnerable shit I've put out. Like, yeah. I, like it's probably so vulnerable. Like, bro, like, like it, it's low key kind of sad and it's low key kind of messy a little bit. You know, yeah. just a little, just a little bit, but it's not like it's not extra like whoopty whoopty whoop. But it's like this is the shit like I've dealt with and I've experienced, especially like since that time of sporty, like sporty between what was that 2018, 2019, and like last year, or you know what I mean? Like it's mm -hmm. like that little few, like that few year block, like like just was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like just feel again feeling like invincible and shit like <laughs> like just trying to just wanting to take over the world like pinky in the brain like just really trying to right. like really trying to take over or just really feeling inspired and 
just driven, just motivated. Again, like the more you accomplish, the more you just want to do more of. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, you just get you get some money, you try and get some more shit. You catch a bag, yeah. like uh, I want another bag, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's, so it's like that's all. Like, I just want to continue to evolve, grow, and do my thing. And it's like, and I may not always have, I may not always like sit and like say the the the, the right words regarding it. But I guarantee, like, I know where I came from, like, creating that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, I hope it resonates. You know what I'm saying? That's a, you know, it's a drop of the water. But you feel me? We going to see. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, like, just like speak, speaking for myself, like, it definitely resonates with me. You yeah. know, like, just, you, you know, I like just looking at the looking at the one, two, three punch of talk soon PS and don't get too excited. Like, this feels like an incredibly... You know, like it feels it feels like a nice organic evolution into just like the artist that you are now for me, you know, like because it, it's like once again, it's crazy to it's crazy for me to think to think that the person who was making songs like Lex and like Dianetics and fucking Clockers is yeah. making songs like Cutie and I love you and you good, you know, like it, it's it, like, you know, like, and it feels, and like, it doesn't feel out of character for you at all. It's not like, it's, it's not like it's this like abrupt left turn. Like since we're talking about Tyler, you know, like one of, one of my, one of my favorite moments, I know a lot of people don't fuck with cherry bomb, but I like it for what it's worth. Like, 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 like the one bit on cherry bomb that really gets me is like having that it's like a loud abrasive song that immediately cuts into find your wings and like how like gentle and intimate that is like you know it's not like you did that you know where it's like you started out one way and then immediately shifted into something else you know well, like you, you well, know, know like talk sorry real, well i know it's crazy like real quick i just remember like cherry bomb era like i just remember that was the first time i was like yo tyler might be on some shit. I just remember saying somebody flipped his shit. It wasn't even the original song. Somebody had flipped his shit on God's Connect like a few years back. And I was like, yo, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what is this video? Like, what is what is going on? And I just remember mm -hmm. like like being on YouTube, like, wow, what's this joint? He got it like Roy Ayers on it. What? Like Roy Ayers, the nigga I'm sampling, like right now in real time. Like, this shit is crazy. Right. I just remember, like, I just remember that time, bro. You just took me back. Like, like, man, that's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, nah, like those were, yeah, nah, like shout out to God's Connect too, because those, yeah, you know, like that, you know, like that channel was just so, it is so foundational and just like, just so many, so many beautiful flips and so many beautiful beats, you know, like I, I, it's like, I, I always cherish, I always cherish areas that really focus on just like how important the beats are to this shit. But like, yeah. you didn't, you, you and, and, and like the beats have always been important to you, you know. Like your fucking, your fucking, your fucking uh, lo-fi chops and flips were some of the were some yeah. of the coolest shit you were doing early on too, you know. And like, but like once again, you're like that all, you know. Like even looking at something like uh something like duh, where you flip the fucking common song, and just like how smooth that is, like you know, like that, like the person who made that, I could see the person making who made that making don't get too excited. So like I guess because like you know I mean like the new album has been out for you know a grip now and we've all kind of had time to digest it like when did uh you know, like where did the idea for don't get too excited come from because like you know like you said this is definitely your most vulnerable work ever but it's all and 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 it is and it is a little sad but it's also basically a love album you know like you really you really went and made yourself like a grown and sexy fucking like. <laughs> rap ish not really album bro like that's what this is you know like it's 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 got those vibes to it like fucking you know like 5 30 p.m on valentine's day type shit you know like kind of starts at 5 30 and then gets to 2 a.m when your lady left and you're sad type shit like <laughs> you know like that's kind of how i feel about it but like w but like where did the initial idea come from and talk to me talk to me a little bit about putting it together so i remember after so like so i remember i, I put out sporty after sporty I, I mean i'm always recording but after sporty like i remember i was putting together the talk soon idea and um and i just would i remember i wrapped that up like in, in one summer or whatever and i just remember like man i want to do something like you know for the ladies i mean because i love pussy so like i want to like have something in my catalog 
that like resonates really with the ladies like heavy um you know just his vibes really um i remember making demos as early as like 2018 like like just little basic shit like on some i remember i remember i did like a cover like i was just doing covers and shit like and i still do covers from time to time but like i was really just on some like i remember i covered like cupid's chokehold and like uh jesse reyes and like uh uh hiatus coyote like i was just like i was really on some i like i was in a different bag and i just wanted to like make something like that like but I just knew it wasn't the time for it so mm -hmm. I, so again it goes back to me just wanting it to be natural I, like it wasn't the time for it because at the time like sporty i came out like i was going on tour in europe and shit like like you know I, I wasn't ready to spill all that out right away you know what i mean but i was like yo in a few years i know i'm i'm, I'm gonna make that happen like that's gonna be tight like you know and then i was started getting ideas in my head for the art so that's when it started Right. So I remember. I remember. So I remember after oranges, like after Sporty Drop. I mean, Sporty Drop. Went on tour in Europe. Whoop de woo. A few months later, I'm on Colors. You know, spending time in Germany. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I'm getting offers in. Like, it's mad shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Insecure I hit me for a possible like placement. All type of shit was going on. So I'm like, yo, okay. All right, I'm chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm in this lane or whatever. Like, you know, like I ain't trying. I'm still not ready to spill it out yet because it's not the time. Like, I'm I'm focused on, you know, I'm still like rap, like rap, 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 rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm on that way for a few months. Then COVID happened, like out of right. nowhere. I'm in New York. <laughs> I'm in New York. I had a show in New York because again, I'm I'm on the wave and shit. Eh? Like I'm fresh off the color shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm making my little rounds. So I'm in New York, and like a couple days before I leave, like I it was like a huge alert. Like oh, like coronavirus and woof woof. And like if you if you touch things, you can get it from there. You, you could die. People are dying. It's like I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm, bro, I was, bro, it was wild. Like, shit was crazy. Shit was crazy, bro. I, I just couldn't wrap my head around that shit. So then, like, I, I just remember, like, on the flight back, like, I got word, like, my grandma was sick and shit. So I'm like, fuck. Like, she, she got that shit. She was sick for a minute, bro. So mm. I started my own eyes and shit. And then my mom had, like, a little cold and shit. So shit was just, like, weird. I was like, yo. Like what the fuck is going on? Um, so that shit. So dealing with that shit for I don't know, maybe a couple months, maybe a month, month, couple months. Like shit was just so up in the air. You know, grocery stores are out of stock of everything because we can't leave the house. It's like yo, like shit is crazy. You know, um. So that's did that shit for like a month or two. Right. And after that, I forgot when, but the homie Johan say his name's Five Sounds. He did half of the album. I don't remember the exact moment or how we started like linking. But all I know was like I remember I used to pull up to his crib. He would play me joints. You know what I'm saying? And this was like early, like early demos, like moi and um, what else? It was a couple other demos that didn't make the final cut, like it was i just remember that time like me just trying to get back focused because like the couple months threw me off like you know i i thought i was about to lose family members like you know what i'm saying like shit was just weird like I, I wasn't really thinking about music at all or anything creative i'm like yo is everybody good you know what i'm saying like, hey right was, i was more on that way and so like me and johan said we start linking up you know, he playing joints, we smoking, we play joints, you know what I'm saying? You know, he would pull up to my flat too. Like I remember like throwing him a couple sample ideas and shit. Like I remember the Bronx tail joint, the um um I only have eyes. I remember he flipped that. And it was a couple other ones and shit, but like just we just trying shit because I'm like, yo, I think I got a direction. Like, like, like I just wanted some love, like to like circulate i'm like yo this is wow and at this time i still hadn't put out talk soon so i'm like all right we just gonna keep building on this and drop this like when it's time 
like it's time to start putting gears into that shit, like and really going crazy and like like forming a plan of when to roll this out or whatever. So we do that. The original title was called Tweet, like T W E E, because I wanted to. I thought it was like a cute album, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was, and that was the title for like like a day or two. It was like called Cute, you know what I'm saying? But it, but I was like, nah, I want to name it something else, like. And I remember I came across tweet. It was like some shit like I had Googled or something. I was like, yo, that's tight. But, um, and, and it's really, and it really means, it, I mean, that's all it means is cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it means the same shit, but it was just like, I don't know. It just, I was like, yo, that's the word. That's the word I want right. to get. Album type shit. But, so it was like that. It was like that for a minute. So, you know, everybody quarantined. Everybody doing they would be woo. So, you know, things start to loosen up. You know, I get word I'm about to go back on the road. I go back on the road with like Sandman. This is like kind of later as it's dying down. So I'm like, all right, I'm going back on the road. Sandman, whoop de whoop. At the time, I at the time I I want to say I was in LA. No, 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 I wasn't in LA yet. I wasn't in LA, in LA yet. I don't think so. I wasn't in Inglewood, but but I just remember like I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back on the road. Like I want to, and I and I think I was getting ready to put out PS because I like did a little situation for that, and I was like, all right, like. That's cool. Like I, but after tour, like when I come back, make this shit happen. So we still working on this shit. Like, like Johan is sending me shit all the time. Like he'll just like, I'll just wake up to like Dropbox links and like Google Drive folders and shit. Like, like because he he's cooking in real time. So like, as time is going, like I'm still working on it and I'm still like just getting to it. You know, still hearing shit. We still deciding on beats and direction. Yeah. Um. So like around the time tour, the tour was saying ended, I just remember like, okay, it's time to start like really getting a team together for this shit and understanding what we about to do. You know what I mean? Um, like what's like, what's like, how we going to roll this out? Like, whoop whoop. and I just remember like, I was like, yo, like I, I have a whole new meaning for like the shit that's like the shit that's about to go down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm going into this like totally different than I did like when I was like in NY doing shows and like in Germany or whatever. Like, I don't know, things were just, I was just very humbled by that experience. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, and I feel like it taught me to never get too excited about anything. You know what I'm saying? And I used to, you know, you think about that type of shit with like, you know, dealing with women or whatever, or just like certain shit or like, but like I feel like that shit taught me to not get too excited with what happens in life. You know what I'm saying? Like shit shit is gonna like just happen. Like you never it can come so like it's too like unprecedented. Like you never know when it's going this shit is gonna happen. Like you never know what's gonna happen. And 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 obviously in between that time, like I'm also like, you know, I'm having my little situations like you know, I, I was all, I, you know, during that time, again, I was a wild boy during that time, too. But I was, hmm. I was more chill. But it's like, you know, I, I have, you know, I always had a little something on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, always. Like, like this, this is not a discussion. So it's like, I'm just, at that time, I'm just like, yo, like, you know, me, myself, growing up, even as, you know, as a grown man, just understanding, like, where I want to stand. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some, like, yo, like, yo this this is what it is or whatever like just just understanding you know what i want to do you know what i'm saying like how i'm going to do it like like all right cool like you know because i wasn't thinking about marriage at the time or no shit like that you know what i'm saying i'm just having fun at the same i'm like yo if you can hang we good you know what i'm saying <laughs> like that's really that's really what i was on at that time right but, so with that with me not considering all, all of that shit like you know, you get you get tangled up in a little messy shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bitches slash your tires or like key your whip or like you know what I'm saying? Just like little like like petty shit, you know, because motherfuckers be in their feelings or whatever. You know, it's like and, and being young too, like we talking young too, like you know what I mean, this was a while ago too, so it's not like we we was like extra for you know what I mean, like we we was younger and shit, but like you know, just during that time, like just like understanding like like even the situations i was dealing with like i could never get to a side or never like i don't know i feel like i was at a point where i was like i was pretty much like telling myself like okay like 
like I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna be alone in this shit. So I like gotta understand. I gotta acclimate to it. Like it's not. It's not even about like where I'm a land. It's like yo, like I just gotta make sure like like make sure me and mine's good. Like it's not even like I can't get too excited about anything right now. Like I can't be too invested in you, especially if you don't know what you want. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like like right. you, you do what I do type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like like you should be doing what I'm doing type shit. But I don't know, man. Just like growing up just being a man like you know dealing with women different you know what i'm saying like i get man so many tales on that but like you know just again being young you know what i'm saying just we talking like going into well going into my mid-20s at this time like it wasn't even like i, I mean i was just i don't know man like i feel like all of those experiences really just made me just really just humbled me just sat me down like even down to the cover like like it just like sat me down. Like, like I'm like, yo, I'm chilling. Where's the weed? But you know what I mean? Like I'm chilling. Like yeah. Like, I don't even want to. I don't even want to. Like I don't want no smoke. It's the only smoke I want. I don't want no smoke. You know. Right. Just but man, don't get too excited, man. That's that's the shit. And I and I just remember during that time of and a lot of other shit was going on too, man. Like. You know, she she was man. It was it was it was an interesting time, bro. You know what I mean? Like again, just like just you know, it's life, man. You roll with the punches and shit. You know, but she was tight, man. Like I, I don't, you know, I don't regret shit. I have, I, I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? Still, you feel me? But now it's just you know, again, more shit to consider, man. Yeah. Like those few years was crazy, man. Don't get too excited. Like that's that's the shit, man. Like I was really, I don't know, man. I feel like that was that that was the time where, like, I, I was like, man, I'm finally doing something. And then like all that shit, all that shit just stopped. The world just stopped. Everything stopped. And it just was like, wow. Like I'm so humble. Like like nature don't have the last word. <laughs> like, right. Awesome. Like, don't get cocky, kid. Type yeah, shit. Yeah. Totally. Feel me? Like I can't can't ever get too excited, man. My arms too short. <laughs> to, box mm, with to box with God. Yeah. <laughs> my arms too short. I can't. You know no. what I'm saying? Like I can't get too excited, bro. But you know, again, like it, even with me entering this new chapter as like Nolan, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm never like I'm I'm always trying to evolve like the sound like. You know, like the next shit I plan to roll out later. I don't know when. I don't have a date or no shit like that. But like, I just know this little batch is tight, and it's like it's some hip hop shit. It ain't like I'm, you know, I'm rapping on it a little bit, but it ain't like it's not a love album. It's, it's you know, it's kind of classics. You know what I'm saying, like shit. But you know, it, it, if I'm in a space to release it, I'll drop it. If not, then it's like it ain't the time for it. I'll extend a life of. Don't get too excited. Like that's like don't get too excited is an experience, you know what I'm saying? And I and that's how I want it to be. I want it to be an experience, like like even down to like you know, the the character and the teddy and all that shit. Like, like it's all it's all an era and it's all an experience. And that's what I really want people to understand. Like, like the music, the music is one thing, but like 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 sonically it's 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 different. Like it's a lot like bro, it's it's not even really it's no samples on there for real. Oh, don't get too excited. It's not really no samples. I mean, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple. It's a couple, like a little, but it, it, we didn't even touch them like that. Like Johanse playing keys. You know what I'm saying? On top of the the 808 and shit. Like he, like this is all live shit, and I see him do it. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't really even try to like be sample heavy and keep it all extra boom bap hip hop. We we that was not the intention. Like we just vibing. You know what I mean? Like we just we just we just doing what what feel like the shit just feel good. Like. That shit rocking. If it's rocking, it's rocking. They gonna track it or what? Right. And you know, like that. And yeah, like that's that's one thing I've always loved about you. And just and and just like your music and just you know, like your your entire, just like your entire shit, bro. Is like you're really not afraid to. You're not afraid to take risks. You're not afraid to do stuff that might, at least at first, be considered like a like a sharp left turn and you know like going from going from like just between different types of music to even just getting yourself into photography and management and just like you know like you're you know like you're you're not you're 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 not you're not afraid to hit the gas when you need to hit the gas like even though even though life's kind of gone out of its way to 
to humble you, whether it's on like a financial or professional or romantic sense, like you're still here and you're still pushing because you genuinely love this shit. You know, like, you, you know, like just like considering, just like considering the fact that you've been at this for so long and you and our mutual homie Kelly Moonstone, shout out to Kelly, got this big look from Ebro, like on Ebro's uh, Apple Music show, you know, yeah. like to see, to see, to see I love you get picked up for that kind of thing is like you know like even it's 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 just it's just really incredible to see that to see that hard work and that fearlessness get rewarded by like these really really huge platforms and like just uh you know like i have no idea where you're about to go next and that's exciting to me you yeah, know yeah. i'm I mean, like, like i know you already said you had plans and you kind of laid them out but like I don't know what that shit sounds like, you know, and like I don't know what to expect outside of what you told me, and that's and that's dope, you know. Like I, you know, like being being around as much as I have, you know, like I haven't been around forever, but I've been around for a little minute, and you know, like it's a, uh, it's always nice to be in a position where you're going to be surprised by some shit, and where and where like you can't just predict what it's going to sound like and how it's going to turn out. So, you know, like you've been keeping people on their toes and there are plenty of people who are here who haven't been here since the beginning. There are probably people listening to this right now who are just learning about you through don't get too excited if they're not just learning about you at this very second type shit, you know, and like it's just, you know, like that's what I mean, just in the sense that you've been, you know, you know, like your journey's long, but there's always, it's always a new starting point, you know, like whether that's for you or for other people and you know like you know you've gone the distance and have built something special and are continuing to build something special and that's just like really tight to me you know it's it's a uh, it's just great because this shit is real cutthroat real dog eat dog like it'll eat you up if you're not careful and you've managed to not only parlay that into like a new musical chapter for yourself but you've turned it into like three other creative endeavors type shit you know and like you know like that fucking um that flubbed insecure spot like that shit's gonna come back to you at some point you know like something <laughs> as big as colors that's gonna come back to you again at some point like you you know like you've you've put in too much work for that to not be like hey here you go you know like it's 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 gonna happen on your terms and hey, that, that shit's hard that's it's love man and it's like it's again i can enjoy shit on a different level now which is cool like like to like now when i make a move it's like forecast like you know what i'm saying like it's a forecast like yo like yeah forecast like that's my shit i don't know man like i i i see it in my head it's just gonna take so long to like roll all this shit out and everything that makes sense but it's gonna be so cool like at the end of the day like it's gonna look so fly like it's gonna be some shit i can smile about for years you know what i mean like it's really tight like man making music is tight man i know it's saturated it could be stupid sometimes but if you really care about the craft and shit like shit it, it's really a beautiful experience you know what i mean it's like that shit is kind of like a fucking um about uh, uh it's like yeah it's like a time machine bro like with any with all music for real like it's yeah. just crazy bro it's a beautiful it's a beautiful experience bro like man yeah i mean obviously you know that like because you the man but i'm saying like it just that shit just incredible, bro. I, I love it, bro. I love it. Yeah, I you know I'm I'm just I'm just so happy to hear you. So I'm happy to hear you so rejuvenated and so inspired and just so ready to go attack this shit because okay. I because I think all the time back to Lex and when you were saying on the hook that you were gonna retire before you were 35, <laughs> and it sounds to me it sounds to me now like not to say that you got like a new lease on life but just that yeah. there's more just that there's way 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 more in store than you even thought there was a year or two ago you know yeah. like it, it's it's just like like you know like life really will life really will just pick you up and throw you somewhere before you even realize like where you were before type right. shit <laughs> you know so it's right. it's just like once again like that's another beautiful thing just about longevity and you know like you're you're here and I'm excited to see where you go and I'm excited to see like, a, you know, like, and, and like even 
the landscape has changed so much in the last like seven, eight years too. Like people want all sorts of, or people want all sorts of different things and artists and whoever else are like so willing to dive into new shit that's surprising them. You know, like there's definitely more room to experiment and more room to bring in people and, you know, offer experiences that you might not have thought about before. And to see you acclimate to that and just make it and, you know, like see, you know, like seeing you on a tour with people like Brain Orchestra and Jamonte, like is really dope to me. And like the fact that y'all can like go and, and like not to not just have it be a spot date. You know, like y'all are about to do like seven, eight shows, like yeah. up and down the East Coast. Like that's dope. You know, yeah. like that's super fucking hard and it's well deserved. And I'm just happy. I don't know, man. Like I'm just I'm just proud of you. <laughs> I'm rambling right now, but I'm proud of you. Like No, bro, bro. I just rumbled for like 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? But no, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. You know, this shit. I, I love it, bro. I just want to I just want to continue making cool shit contribute you know what i'm saying to the culture and shit make my little contributions and i just want to keep it nice and fresh and i want to keep it keep it you know in, in line with my taste and the shit that i actually came up on and the shit that inspires me as a person you know or, or how i view things like you know i want that to reflect it as well like i'm so excited man I'm, I'm so excited bro and i'm excited to do it for other artists too like art directing and, and all of that like you know y'all y'all gonna see that scorecast tag on that shit too like we didn't already did a couple records, you know, but you know, we gon' it's it's gonna move, man. We we gon' we gonna make that. I wanna do it. We let's do one, Billy Eilish. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Billy Eilish. Come on, Beyonce. Yeah. Let's do something, you know? Like yeah, man, don't be shy. Like, like let's do this, let's do some sport cash shit. No. Nah. But no, nah, man. Um, like again, man, shit shit just been a blessing, bro. Like like man, you you think back to the times like you just want to do like you you aspire to do shit, and then you start doing it. You don't realize like you're doing it as you're doing it, and then you look back and be like, "Wow, I did that." You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's and that's really a tight experience too. Like just being able to like, you know, just look back and be like, "Wow, that was really a tight time," or like that was a great experience, or you know, it's it's great, man. I love it, bro. I love it, and I love what the game offers too. Like. Like, bro, it, the hustle inspires me, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, just seeing, you know, motherfuckers doing their thing. Like, the shit is cool, man. Like, like I said, it's a lot it's a lot of bullshit in the air. But it's, you know, even in the bullshit, like, there's those moments of, like, okay, it's, like, cool. Or you'll, you know, come across treasure. It's tight, bro. I Like, I, I'm never going to just shit on, like, hip-hop in general or none of that. You feel me? Like, like overall, like, everybody going crazy. Like, this is this is insane. Imagine if this was like 20 years ago. I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like, I couldn't like back in the day. It's like you, like your favorite rapper may, might put out a record every year. Maybe, maybe it'll be every other year, uh, every two years. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like now it's like, you got your favorite artist could put out three EPs in one year, could put out three EPs in an album. Could I put out four albums in a year? <laughs> like, right. You never know the speed, bro. I started seeing that with currency too. Like, like at one point, <laughs> just putting out mad shit, and I, I was like, yo, like he really flooding. You know what I'm right. saying? And like that, and now to see people like doing that shit just regularly, and it's like, man, it's like, wow, bro. And for yeah, and, yeah, and like for people to expect that, unless your name's like Frank Ocean or Beyonce, you know, man. like they're the only two who get a pass. Like bro. everybody else got to drop at least two, three projects a year. Or else, yeah. <laughs> bro, it's you know, crazy. like, and, and that's a lot of pressure, but you know, like, it is what it is. People, people just want what they want. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. You brought up Frank. I, I saw like on Twitter, he put the uh, he, he parked the uh, the the orange whip, the orange uh, the joint from um, nostalgia, like at the court. I think, and I think that shit is so like, like, is that his? Yeah, that's his for real. Or did you see Man, that? That I. Uh, nah, I missed it. I I completely missed that. That's so crazy. Like, like uh, I can, I, like I can see the car in my head right now, but I had no yeah. idea they had it parked out because he's he's playing Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because this weekend is Coachella, right? Or next weekend, right? Like a week from now. So yeah, like he 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 headlined in one of them dates, but I just thought that was like a so like that was just so genius to me, like. You like you part like a great like because the album has you know stood the test of time so it's like 
you know, you just park that as like a way, you know, a reminder, like, yo, that's fire. Like that's that's literally like like tangible piece from like from that album. Man. Like that's tight, bro. Like that's tight. Like that's that's great. You can see it. Like it's tight. That's real tight, man. Like that's real tight. I like I like like I said, man, there's certain there's certain artists in the industry that I'm like, okay, like 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 I fuck I fuck with the movements for sure. Like I, I like I like how you did that. Like damn, that's that's genius. Damn, I should have thought of that. Like tight shit. Like that's really tight. Like like I have those moments too, and that's and I feel like moments like that is what keep me keep doing this shit because I still get excited from it. You know what I'm saying? Like I still had that passion for it. Like like it's it's just like so fun. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like really dope. Like it's like everybody just trying out ideas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's so creative. <laughs> 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 Like, but you know, everybody. Nah, totally. But you know, like, you, you, you like some people. It, it's it's just beautiful to see everyone really exploring that, and to see you exploring that. So like, yeah, it's 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 just like, like there's treasure everywhere right now, and it's hard to be mad at the shit unless it's like trash, you know. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, I just seen some trash, man. I, man, that shit still be coming around, but you know, we yeah. we. We understand what what what's you know what we don't want to fuck with. We understand, you feel me? We gonna keep yeah, totally. it, yes, sir. Damn, shit, man. We could, man. I feel like we could go for like another two hours, but Hell you know, yeah. like before I, <laughs> <laughs> yo, son. Before, but before I let you go, let me ask you my last question, um, Nolan. If your life was a movie, what would it be about? It'll be about um man, it is shit. I don't I don't know, man. Just like to come up, just like a young, a young black creative wanting to do great shit. They do great shit. They have some bumps in the road along the way, but you know, we it ain't nothing we can't endure, you know. Keep moving forward, become big doing this thing you know growing businesses and having babies and whipping whips <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kind of doing a thing you know what i'm saying just like i don't know man i don't know you know and i know that could go a lot of ways but like it definitely will have to like reflect that for sure like it can't just i don't i can't i don't know you know I don't know. It it it'll, it'll be serious, but it'll it, it but it'll have some humor. It'll be a nice balance. It won't be like it's not like it wouldn't have any comic relief or nothing. It'll just it'll be like really tight, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I man, that's a that's a loaded question, man. When people ask me the loaded questions, I'll be stuck like, hmm. <laughs> it's like because you can. I mean, because you can think anything. It's like yo, fuck it. Like let's make it. You know what I'm saying? Like let's do this or whatever. You know. Like man, the possibilities are endless. I feel like that's that's it with me. It's like now I feel like that's another reason I want to take my time because it's like you you want to you want to you want to make sure you're settled on what it is before you like move on. You know what I mean? Like you want to make sure like all right, like this is the direction. This is what this is what I really want to do. I didn't give it some time. You know, shit just settled, doesn't settle because you know you just clouded at first. You just want to like do shit, and then you just like you let it settle, and you're like, okay, I still want to do it, but I want to do it this way, or I want it to be this way, or you know. So it's like I don't know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, to me, that sounds that sounds like you want to give us your version of Atlanta, and I'm not opposed to that. Atlanta, like, I'm, 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 Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with Atlanta. I love Atlanta. And I'm sad that it's gone. I'll be rewatching. Yeah, on, me too. I'll be rewatching on Hulu just on some like, man, I miss it. Like I, I gotta just rewatch it. Like, man, Donald Glover is like his his work is really his his work is really dope too. Like that's someone who who whose work I admire in in my adulthood as a grown man. I'm like, yo, that's fire. I like how he does that. Whatever. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like I, I really fuck with it. I love. It was an interview where he interviewed himself. I thought that shit was so genius, bro. <laughs> like he interviews himself. He has it. So like that shit is funny, bro. Like I, fuck with it. <laughs> but I fuck with shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Even down to the rap shit, like niggas like Makami. Like bro, it's bro, it's people out here, bro. It's like bro, you you know who got the heat for real. You feel? Yeah. Me? <laughs> you know who got the heat for real? You know who got the heat for real? So you know. 
He's just chilling, but you know who got the heat for real, you know. But you know, it is right, what it is. Yeah, no, nah, man. And you got the high hand right now. So, like, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through. Um, this was this was this, this was great, man. Like, I knew this is gonna be great already because we already did a great one before, but like, yeah, yeah nah, like I'm just I'm just proud of you, bro. Like it's 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 been a really beautiful road, and I can't wait to see where else it leads. So, like, thank you for taking the time and just like thanks for being solid. I don't know, like <laughs> Man, man, thank you, bro. Thank you. And when I when I touch down in a few days, I'm gonna hit your line if we, you know what I'm saying, if you got time or something. I wanna introduce you to Amani too, man. She gonna she gonna like I said, she coming on the road and shit. You may you gonna you may run into her if you pulling up to the Brooklyn show. You know what I'm saying? Like like she next up, man. Like I, I want you to meet her, man. She she's something special, man, for real. Man, would love to. Yeah, no, nah, we can make that happen. But hell, nah, yeah. yeah, hell yeah, bro. I'm 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 so about that. Like <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Shout out to y'all for making it this far. And shout out to all the black people listening too, because y'all really impeccable. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell a friend to come through next time. One.